This is the guy of Georgia Outdoors, and this might just be our last fishing video of the season. Next weekend's dove season, the following weekend's bow season, and uh, I like to hunt, so we're gonna be trading the fishing poles. Uh, but now we're gonna try to put some fish in the freezer. Um, we got the Johnny Boat Bass 100. We're gonna be out here trying to catch probably 20 bass that are the fillet size, I'd say that uh, one pound range. And it really helps the pond out by keeping some of these fish out of there. About halfway through this video, you're gonna see a chance to uh, win or get entered in for a chance to win a pair of Sitka waders. Sitka makes some of the nicest hunting waders. If you've never worn them, they are extremely comfortable, really good stuff. So you're gonna get a chance to win those by going to Guided Outdoors website. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. They're a good group of guys and they really get people out there hunting and fishing. And uh, if you're in the guiding business, you may wanna check those out because they can help you out as well. But you're gonna wanna stick to the middle of the video where I talk about that and show you how to get entered in. But right now we're gonna get the uh, Johnny boat in the pond and see if we can catch some fish. This is about my third or fourth time fishing out of the Johnny boat and I am really excited about this. I love this boat. And even though fishing season's almost over, you're gonna be seeing this boat a good bit this year, especially during duck hunting. Got it all lined up. Right now we're gonna get this boat in the water and catch some fish. Some people really turn their nose up to eating bass, but I'm gonna tell you, it is a great eating fish. And just like anything that you're trying to manage, deer, um, any type of wild game, these ponds have to be managed as well. And you've got to control the numbers. And for many years we didn't, and you couldn't catch a big fish, but we've been managing these bass in this pond for about five years, and we're starting to catch some really good fish again. In fact, my nephew and his buddy caught about a eight, nine pounder yesterday out of here. We're gonna be fishing with one of my favorite lures, this little broke back rebel. And this one's actually my dad's and he doesn't know I have it, but when he watches this video, he will find out. But I love this little lure and it does catch smaller fish, but that is what we're after today. We're not after the, the big four, four pounders. And I like this little lure because you can, right there, first, look at that. First cast and see what we got. Doesn't feel real big, but it might be what we're looking for. Okay, well that was an exciting catch. Not exactly what we were looking for, but I knew we'd probably run into a lot of these over here, and that's a good bluegill. Um, we're not going to put any of these up in the freezer. Bluegill are good, and some people prefer these over bass, but they are not my favorite fish to eat. And if we start catching just tons of bluegill on this lure, we're going to have to go with something else, but that's not a problem. we got plenty of options. That was about where I seen that roll at. See if we can get him to hit. There he is. Yeah, he got it. He got it. I'm in the grass, but I got him. Yep, that was exactly where I seen him hit at. And uh, I knew if I could get it over there, likely get a hit from him. There we go. That right there, my friends, is the size we came for. The perfect fillet size. And just got him right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect fillet size. Um, these are the kind of fish that are we're wanting to reduce the numbers down. And what we did was we brought us a uh, stringer. That way we can tie them right off the edge of the boat and get them in the water. The only problem is with this is we got an old gator that's been swimming around and he might look at that like a little shish kebab. There we go, the first fish I've caught in a while, and that looks like a pretty good sized bass. Wow, and I'm on this little micro light. This is gonna be fun getting him in. Wow, was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. And he really didn't give me much of a fight. Look at that. Real thin, laid out, but we're gonna put that one back. That is actually not what we came for. That is a good sized fish. It's kind of fun catching on micro light. And you can tell it's the heat of the summer. That fish didn't really even fight me at all.
Boy, he got it. Did he get it? Yeah, he got it. He got it. I think that's going to be a bass that we want to keep there. Right on the edge of that grass. I'm trying to get the GoPro over there where y'all can see that fight. But he, he smoked it. It took him about two hits to get it. But that is, that's what we want right there. I'm hoping, hoping that this uh, bite starting to pick up just a little bit. I got a long enough stringer over here, I can tell you that. All right, I swapped over to a worm, and this is a uh, pretty good size worm. It's like a trip worm. And it was given to me by a uh, guy who watches the channel, a friend of mine on Facebook, Chris, and uh, or Christopher. And uh, he gave me this worm. He said, hey, you, uh, you try it. And this year, I tried it in the river numerous times, but the bite in the river was just trash this year. So we're going to see what we can do out here with it. And I think it'll catch some fish. Um, a lot of times... I quit fishing with the bubblegum trip worm because I just get too many small bites and that's what we're going for today and I can't get out the treetop. Every one of my fishing poles are wrapped up in the tree right now. All right, let's go for it. There he is. There we go, got one. I just hope he ain't too big. Nah, he's not too big. That's what we want right there. We have to swap over to the bubble gun trick worm. And I can't really call it a trick worm because that's not the actual name of it. But it took a while. Get another bite. Well, there he is. There he is, another one swimming towards me. He's got it. There he is. another good one these are the size we're wanting and I just lost my worm let me see if I can get it right here real quick before I because it's the only one I got left and the good thing is it floats and I grabbed it can't lose that all right guys I'm telling you it is on we're gonna take a quick break in the video to tell you about the waiter giveaway if you're not interested in the waiters just click forward about a minute but if you are you need to check out guided outdoors they're going to be giving away the waiters guided outdoors has created a uh, website they're a group of guys that created a website where they uh they do the legwork of pairing you up with hunting and fishing guides so you go on their website and say i'm interested in duck hunting here and they'll they'll find you the guide for you because i've been on the the other end of this before i've tried to book trips and it's a lot of work to find a reputable guide um, when the dates are available because sometimes guides are good at catching fish and putting you on animals but not real good about the the website management and the business part so if you are a guide then check out guided outdoors because they can build you a website they can uh, help create a logo they can help with branding your business and helping you get in clients so guided outdoors is a great website check them out great group of great group of guys also we're gonna you're gonna see them on this channel in a couple months we're gonna be doing some duck hunting with them in real foot uh, Tennessee real foot Lake so excited about that so go on their website you'll see the directions for the giveaway and they're giving away a nice pair of waders Sitka some of the the best waders that they make so check them out and uh, right now we're going to go back to the fishing trip and i'm going to tell you started out slow but it definitely finished up strong and if you sense a little bit of urgency in my tone and the way i'm moving that is because the sun is getting lower and lower by the minute even though that worm came off still in pretty good shape it's got it's a thick worm there's numerous places to hook up to a uh put a hook through all right, let's get some more. And late in the evening like this, it's hard to hard to see if a bass hits it, but you just see that worm disappear, and you're like, well, there it is. There's two and just a couple of casts right here. All right, we're going back with a white trick worm. Didn't have any pink, but I have no doubt that this one will work just as just as good. I think he got it. No, he didn't. Yeah, he got it. He got it. There he is. Yep, that's what we want. And that is, I had I had little doubts that that white one would do the trick. We're just putting them on our stringer over here as quick as we can get them in the in the boat. I 
you got it. Yep, he got it. Yep, another one. Another one. These little guys like to put up a good fight. And that is just what we were after today. Well, I'm really. Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> I was about to give some tutorials, but uh, that bass didn't even give me a chance to uh, do much hook setting on him. He just wanted it right then. It's funny how all afternoon can't get a bite, and then right here in the eleventh hour, we are loading up the stringer. Got one more fish. And there he is. There he is. Another good one. He's thin, real thin. So we're going to keep this one. He's got a bigger head. He should weigh a lot more. But this is summertime, like he's been injured before as well. So we're going to keep that guy. Get him out of here as well. And that's what our goal is today is really fish in the freezer yeah but the bigger the bigger reward here is managing this pond um, eventually we want this pond to be a trophy bass pond where you can come out here and any given day and catch you a six seven eight pound bass and you're almost there now but that's what our goal is and i know we're cutting it close on camera light but i gotta fish it to the i gotta fish it all the way to the boat ramp that would be a Injustice to the pond. If I left without fishing it all the way to the boat ramp. He got it. He got it. Come on, come on. There he is. The old one hand hook set. And that's another perfect fish what we're trying to get out of here. Some of y'all like all of them are small bass. That's exactly the point. We're trying to get these guys out of here. These fish are aggressive. They eat a lot. And uh, as you can tell by how many I'm catching. And they are going to outcompete those bigger, slower moving fish all day long. And you're gonna end up with more and more of these little guys, and fewer and fewer of the big ones. Ask me how I know. That's a pretty good looking stringer so far. Ask me how I know. A pond, just like anything else, has to be managed. There he is. This is what we came for. We're gonna call this the magic hour. Oh boy, he landed right in the tackle box. He wanted to go home with me. And guess what, buddy? You are. All right, it was a very slow start. When it was hot, we didn't catch but just three or four. But man, the last hour, it just uh, picked up. We got a stringer full. So this video is gonna pick up back at the uh, skin rack. We're gonna clean these guys out, which is a phenomenal afternoon. You couldn't ask for more and a great way to wrap up fishing season. All right, we just made it back to the skinner rack and we caught 10 fish. We were hoping for that 15 to 20, but we got 10. We'll be satisfied with that. We'll make it work. That's gonna give us something to put in the freezer, maybe about two meals for my family. I got two young girls, don't eat a whole lot. But uh, all day long, it was a struggle to get a bite. And I knew the fish were there, just, I don't know if it was the temperature or the moon, but that last 30 minutes, they came alive and we were able to catch some fish, really get our money's worth in. But I hope you enjoyed this content and I hope you enjoy hunting because that's where we're going next. Next weekend, dove hunting. The weekend after that, deer hunting. We have a duck hunt booked in Real Foot, Tennessee in uh, December. So there's going to be a lot of good content on the channel. Go ahead and get entered in those uh, that waiter giveaway. They're Sitka waiters, nice ones. And the guided outdoor guys, they're a great group of guys. So check out their website, get entered. I believe it's free to enter. So go ahead and check that one out. But until the next video, this has been the unofficial, no doubt, incomplete guide. George Outdoors.